Kumpleto nga ang pamilya nitong si Jan Estrada sa naganap na birthday celebration ng kanyang asawa, former beauty queen na si Priscilla. Panoori ng video pero bago ang lahat kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit ang notification bell para laging updated sa ating mga showbiz news. Invited nga at very welcome ang dalawang anak ni John Estrada sa ex-wife nito na si Janice de Belen sa birthday celebration ng current wife nito na si Priscilla. Sila nga ay si Kyla at Ina Estrada. Pareho nga itong dalaga na kaya mature na silang mag-isip sa ganitong setup ng kanilang pamilya. Very close nga itong dalawang ito sa kanilang tita Priscilla. May iniinda palang sakit itong si Priscilla, kaya naman busy busy ito sa kanyang pag-workout. Ating panoorin sa kanyang IG Live. It's basically because um, during the pandemic, a lot of things happens uh, happen, and um, I myself went. Oh, there's people from Manaus watching. Oi, guys, tudo bom? Tudo bom com vocês aí? Saudade da terrinha. So, ah, from Leite. Oh, my Yaya is in Leite now. The Yaya of my daughter. She is on vacation from Las Vegas. Wow, I'm dreaming to go back to the U.S. Do some shopping, hopefully. Oh, okay, São Paulo. Olha os paulistas aí também. Uh, dando um oizinho pra gente. Do, of course, lógico, do Amazonas, né? Amazonas. My, my, my home. <laughs> okay, so basically the reason why I decided to do this live, it's because um, I've experienced a lot of things. We've been through a lot, right? Like, oh, for Japan. So we've been through a lot. Um... During the pandemic, we, we end up like uh, isolating for the safety of everyone. And then a lot of people went through a lot of health issues. COVID, you know, was the main focus of everyone. Everybody was scared of COVID, right? But COVID is not the only <laughs> disease or problem that affects our health. So me particularly, after I gave birth, I did come up with some issues. Um, my birth, uh, it was not a normal birth. Uh, I, I went through a CS, emergency birth. So through, through the CS, I end up with some health issues. One of the first issues that I find out, it might have been cracked. So my discs are cracked, my lumbar discs are cracked. 
and then I had a really hard time to lose weight because I couldn't move for two years nobody knows about that but for two for, for two years I was not even able to sit all I do was going to a chiropractor to a, you know a, a, another doctor and come back home Oi gata tudo bom Alana oh, ali de Manaus também é de Manaus Alana enfim so because of that I had a hard time losing weight because how can you lose weight if you don't move right so I literally just didn't eat anything trying to lose weight because I couldn't move but it did not help my metabolism slows down so badly and then basically what happened was guys if you wanted to to come in the video later I'm just gonna explain my story and then I will welcome anybody that wanna come just give me like maybe five to ten minutes so basically what happened was I I couldn't move my metabolism is low down very much a lot you know and then I had a hard time losing the weight but I did lose the weight uh, thanks to you know to some slimming clinics I was endorsing during the time some other treatments I did of course dieting it was a huge sacrifice but I was able to back to my almost my original weight and then I started to suffer you know totally honestly my whole life I always had very bad dysmenorrhea and I always thought that was normal and at a certain point it seemed to be normal because my dysmenorrhea would only happen during the during my period time but then after my daughter was three or four years old I noticed that my dysmenorrhea my colleagues you know my abdominal pain even after my period it was still there and the severity of the the the, the dysmenorrhea was really bad and i the kind of person that have a very high tolerance for pain as in super when i was delivering my baby my contractions are over 100 plus because i did try to have a naturally but unfortunately it was not possible i did do a conservative induction to try to have it naturally but it was not possible hi guys so it's hi to everyone that come in and then um but it didn't happen so i didn't feel a thing <laughs> you know my belly would jump like crazy i didn't feel a thing and the doctor said wow you cannot feel that i said no i don't so in short i have a very high tolerance for pain but then the pain during my period even after my period was like something that i couldn't function i could not do anything i could not even stand from bed and moving around and doing the regular everyday things was like a huge effort and of course my mood you know imagine someone uh, you know constant pain having to work having to function like a regular person but nobody understand I didn't understand so I just keep in drinking medication for pain but they didn't happen they didn't help me for most part of it sometimes it would like bring the pain a little bit down but the pain is still there and then during the pandemic you know it even got worse I don't know if it's also stress related but the pain got like I couldn't handle it to a point that I cannot even fake it to my family my husband noticed that you know I was constant pain he started asking are you in pain um, you know, what's, how, what's wrong with you so we started to basically to research and even him trying to help me and then he find out about these some celebrities that are posting online and one of the celebrities that he saw that you know decided to have a baby and she shared her story that's actually an American celebrity an actress. she shared her story um, about you know she and the husband decided to have a baby because she had a very severe case of endometriosis and then that was a you know the solution that they found was to have a baby uh, other celebrity that was not married she went through a surgery and then she also shared that she had a severe case of endometriosis that she suffered her whole life with endometriosis so she decided to have it uh, surgically removed well searching online you know with dr. Google <laughs> that's very much with everybody you know uh, try to do um, I try to eliminate what could be there's a time that I even thought cancer there's a time I thought something is wrong with my intestines you know my stomach and so on I thought I had a hernia you know I imagine about a lot of things but the truth was that um, you know one of the things that I noticed that was a common factor is that the pain was just during after my period but the pain would just come during my period and then it just happened that she stays a little bit longer and then uh, 
When I, I find out about that, of course, I started to search, I consult my doctor, I check with my gynecologist, I went to different gynecologists asking about it, until I got to a point I said, no, I, I know what I have it already, it looks like it's endometriosis. And I kind of self, you know, <laughs> diagnosed myself with endometriosis, so I asked my guy, you know, can I please have, um, you know, an MRI? Can I have an MRI of my lower abdomen? I need to find out. I know actually, I have a feeling that that's what I have. That's my problem. And then luckily, you know, when I was doing my MRI, the doctor there, she asked me what I was looking for. And then I told her the pain I was having and everything. So I was admitted to two MRI, you know, at the same time, I was there for more than three hours in the MRI clinic. And then they finally found, they found two uh, what they call like two, um, it's like implants, microscopic implants, but it's not that microscopic. Oh, that's this Nui. Hi, Wawa. So it's not microscopic anymore. Mine is a little bit bigger. It's located in my, uh, in my abdominal muscle. And that's the reason why it's so painful because apparently not all endometriosis is painful. You know, it depends where is it located. So to cut the story short, Yes, I was right. <laughs> it was, I am, I have endometriosis, but the treatment is not simple. It's actually a condition that has no cure. And it's very hard for women that suffer from it.